Hello, my name is Matt Lynch. I'd like to thank you for taking an interest in the remotely operated vehicle project sponsored by the United States Merchant Marine Academy as part of their Kings Point Scholar Program. The operational goal of this robot is to create a remotely operated vehicle that we can use to explore the implementation of robotics in the maritime industry and see how we can evolve in the technology sector with regards to subsea research. <clears throat> so, as you can see right here, this is a half-scale 3D printed model of the robot. Um, and you can see that it's pretty hydrodynamic with a spot inside for the electronics. So as part of those electronics, one of those control pieces is going to be the Raspberry Pi. And we've been using a software developed by Fabula Tech called USB over network, which allows us to transmit commands from the USB devices on the laptop, the control laptop on the surface, down to the robot to control brushless DC motors, servos, sensors, things like that. So we've got this client, or sorry, we've got the client Raspberry Pi running the Fabula Tech uh, USB over network client Linux program, and our host is a Windows computer running the USB over network server side of that. So the two communicate, it's a very simple network connection. The uh, Raspberry Pi is actually just connected with an Ethernet cable, just a Cat5 Ethernet cable. And it's all made possible with just a typical Netgear local area network router that we've got going here. Um, so what goes on is uh, Fabula Tech provided the code. They were very helpful in explaining the process of how I set up the code, how I get the program actually running on the client because it's all done with Bash over the command line. Um, so they helped me initialize all that and to get the client program running on the Raspberry Pi. Now if I pull up the network component, you can see that Fabula Tech allows me to pick any device connected to the USB ports to share over the network, this local area network. So with the client running on the Pi and the server running on the network, the goal is to transmit data from this joystick, and this would be not just motor data, but also control of any sensors that we might have, or lights, or really anything. Um, the Fabula Tech provides great functionality in sending pretty much any USB over the network, uh, just as the name of the program implies. So I'm going to do a brief demonstration real quick of what I actually do. Um, so I've got a VNC network connection just right over the local area network pulled up right here. You can see the command line. And what I have is I have a simple Python script that I run just to test the connection of this joystick to the Pi over the network. So that's what I'm going to do right now. If I open up this directory, I can pull up the simple little controller test and I can run that. And you'll see, let me make sure that the device is connected first. And it would help if the device was plugged in. And it's as simple as this. I just plugged in the device. I'm going to, uh, it's connected already. It's that simple. I, er I had already initialized the program once using the code that Fabula Tech provided, and here we go. So now, when I run this simple Python script, You can see that the name of this joystick, the Cytec Cyborg X, has been initialized. And as I make commands, you can see it filling in the uh, output window right there. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, in summary, we've got a 3D printed shell that will be has housing a Raspberry Pi, which is connected to the control server over local area network connection. And Fabula Tech has generously provided the program by which we transmit data from the control joystick down to the Pi to control the motors and ultimately to control the 3D printed robot. So uh, I'd like to thank you for your interest in this and I'm very grateful to Fabula Tech for getting us this far and for their continued support in the project. So thank you.